The truth is that there's a regulatory body and we have to adhere to certain standards. When you go abroad, those standards typically don't exist. And so you often don't know what you're getting. I've worked with MSCs for over 20 years and they're notoriously hard to grow. You've got to maintain them in a very specific way and you've got to test them regularly because you get genetic drift. The cells change their phenotype. They become something else. Unless you do rigorous and lots of study to demonstrate the cells end up as the same thing as they started. Abroad, typically they don't do those kinds of studies so they culture expand the cells in many facilities that people go to will spend 20 30 40 thousand dollars for a cell they don't even know what it is and that becomes a problem then and that's what gives the industry a bad name because there are, are claims being made that are not substantiated by the data and also people aren't responding as well as they do when they're subjected to a study in the United States because this is regulated so well they're going over there we don't know what they're getting they're not responding and we're blaming the tools we're blaming the products when really it's the whole system